Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I will take a look at the notorious milk tea from Taiwan. Every morning, people in Taiwan wake up to begin their day, many briefly stop at the breakfast shop on their way to work. The breakfast shops serve a variety of food including omelette, radish cake, noodle, and a lot more. While choosing their favorite dishes, many will also order some drinks to pair with the solemn food. Among them is the breakfast milk tea. But after people drink their milk tea, what they get is not the joy of delicious food. Instead, they get diarrhea. Well, not all people get diarrhea, but according to the internet, a lot of them. One of the reasons that people suspect of this effect is due to bacteria. So, I decided to take a look at the milk tea to see how much bacteria are inside it. The method will be pretty straightforward. I will buy some milk tea from different sources and perform what is called aerobic play count. That is, to count the aerobic bacteria number inside the sample. After that, I will compare the result with the national regulation to see if those milk tea pass the test. Disclaimer, the following experiment was not proceed following the national standard SOP of food examination in certified laboratory. Therefore, the test does not represent any legal inspection result. I brought a total of 6 milk tea from different places. 4 from breakfast shop, 1 from tea shop, and 1 from convenience store. I'm taking 1 ml of sample from each milk tea for the test. They will be zero diluted into 10, 100, and 1000 time dilution. The material I will be using is called play count agar. It will be kept in 55 degrees Celsius when sterilized. In that way, it will stay as liquid form. The liquid agar will then be poured into petri dishes where it meets and mixed with the sample and left to solidify. Then I put the dishes in incubator set to 37 degrees for 48 hours. The regulation I will compare with is here. For non-packaged beverages, the bacteria limit will be 10,000 CFU per milliliter, and for packaged beverages, the limit will be 200 CFU per milliliter. The unit here, CFU, is basically means the bacteria number. While waiting for the incubation result, if you like this video, please subscribe and share it to more people. Thank you. And now let's see the result. After counting the colony here, I have the result of each sample and we can see that there are two samples that have the extensive amount of colony for me to actually count, which bring their bacterial load to more than 30,000 per milliliter. While the rest of the sample all stay under 10,000, with the sample from the convenience store not showing any colony growth which, as I expected, since it is a packaged product that likely went through some kind of a sterilization process. One interesting thing is that one of the samples that failed to pass was from the tea shop. Indicates that although it looked much cleaner, tea shop is not necessarily cleaner than breakfast shop. So, the conclusion for today is that some of the milk tea do have way more bacteria than others, while well, majority of them do stay within the regulation limit. But still, you shall drink them as fast as you can to prevent bacteria overgrowth. And that's for today's video. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye bye!